Who, Ed Harris? No, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer. We spend all our time here. I want to make a paradise. She redid all of it. Every last detail. And she breathed life back into every room. Are you happy? I love you. I, I just came from TIFF. I did a press conference oh. with you there, the, Fil the Toronto Film Festival. Yeah, I uh, 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 there you said that once you got Jennifer Lawrence on the project, you suddenly had a movie. Yeah. I want to know how, uh, how difficult it still is for a director like Darren Aronofsky to get a, a film made. Well, it depends. Um, they've all been very challenging to make because they're all very, very different types of movies. Um, this one wasn't so hard. I think Jennifer has a lot of power. We made it for a very reasonable price. Uh, and the studio decided to back us and give us a chance. Um, then we added Javier Bardem and everyone was happy, and then we added Michelle Pfeiffer and everyone was happy, and added Harris, so it turned out, it turned out really well. Please, come in. Hello. Hello. He's a stranger. We're just gonna let him sleep in our house. Hello. Hello. Did you know he had a wife? did uh, Noah and now he did this, yeah. one can say you are like on a biblical streak. <laughs> uh, wh wh what do you have to say about that? Wh why is that? Well, I think the Bible has uh, um, some amazing stories. As, as a storyteller, I look at those stories because they're the oldest stories we tell. And um, I think there's a lot of power in the stories to think about and talk about what's happening now in the 21st century. And uh, hypothetically, if you had to do another, another one of these, what story do you like to, to tell? Uh -huh. <laughs> another story in the Bible. Yeah. I mean, there's a lot of great ones. I mean, the story of David is great. Um, the story of Joseph is good. They're all, you know, so many great stories. He has pictures of you in his luggage. What were you doing in their luggage? And uh, how, how was working with one of the biggest Hollywood names today? Uh, is there any pressure in this area? Who, Ed Harris? No. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer. Yeah. Uh, Jennifer was amazing. She's uh, totally self-taught, so has her own technique. But it's very, very powerful, and it's very much a light switch type of actor. It's um, She... Uh, she can basically turn it on when you call action and turns it off when you call cut. No matter how intense the scene is, she can always do that. The cool thing about this movie is that um, audiences have never seen Jennifer Lawrence like they're going to see her in Mother. It's a very unique performance. She does incredible work and it just shows you the incredible potential of her career. What do they want? help you. Uh, you. You almost directed the Wolverine movie mm -hmm. uh, in 2013. Uh, are you done with this kind of movie or do you think you can still uh, present a unique vision in that genre if the right project came to your hands? Well, <clears throat> I would always hope to do something unique. That's kind of my goal. I think with those films you have to be very careful because they are about communicating with as big an audience as you possibly can and audiences who go to see those films expect a certain type of movie. But um, I guess uh, I, I, a lot of the great superhero titles are done. People have used them up. Um, so now it's the kind of characters that are, aren't as interesting. Uh, but um, you never know. We'll see what comes in my make, way. You can make them interesting. Hopefully, yeah, I guess you could. You, is there anyone who you would like to tackle? Any, any, I, any character? I haven't really if thought you, about you, it. You, yeah. you had to choose one, and this is going to be an Aronofsky movie. I mean, you know, Superman would always be interesting, but they're, they're already deep into reinventing him, so that's not going to happen for a long time. They've come here to see me. Quick. You're insane. You're insane. 
And was there any weird stories in the, the making of this movie? Always horror movies, always have this backstage... Uh... I mean, it was a pretty smooth film. It was, um, it was a lot of work, it was a lot of intensity. Definitely, um, the, the last 30 minutes of this film are the craziest thing we've ever done. And technically, it was extremely difficult. It was about 20 days of super, super detailed, hard work and was a real marathon to get through. But um, I mean, the end result is, you know, the sequence that just sort of keeps going up and up and up and up and up and up. No!